Hello, welcome to um, the complex analysis course. So, my name, my name is uh, Han Long. So, I'm a, a postdoc here, and this course is Math uh, Six Twenty Three, Complex Analysis. Uh, okay, and uh, first uh, I will tell you some policy of this course about the grading, homework, exam, project, and uh, extra. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me. So my email is h f a n g thirty five at whisk.edu Okay, and someone told me 35 means there are at least 35 people with last name Fan and uh, first name start with H. Okay, um, so the policy is as follows. Uh, we will have homework, which is uh, six percent, and the final exam, which is uh, twenty percent, and the uh, uh, reading project, reading report, about fifteen percent, and also. Uh, participation in Piazza, 5%. And uh, so A, uh, so far I will assign A for the people who get uh, at least 90%. And uh, A, B, 85%. B. Eighty percent, and uh, actually, actually, last time, uh, the lowest, lowest one get uh, A B. So, but for complete completeness, I will just continue. Okay, now let's uh, talk about uh, the homework. What is the homework? Since we don't have grader, we don't have graders, um, and uh, I will not grade your homework. So the homework, uh, so it's like following. Uh, every week, You choose five to ten problems from the textbook to complete, and uh, 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 before the final uh, handy uh, all your homeworks okay so uh, if you want to get four scores on homework you should do at least uh, 70 problems in four details.
Okay. Also, there's a common problem that you don't know how to do the homework. So, uh, what if you uh, don't know how to solve some specific problems? So there are some solutions. First one, uh, which is highly recommended, post your problem to Piazza and uh, ask for help from all of us. And secondly, you can come to uh, office hours and uh, thirdly, uh, I will talk about how we hold office hour later. And certainly you can send an email to me. Okay, so that's a uh, homework. Of course you can uh, search on a website, search on online. Okay, that's a uh, homework. Also, I need to make a remark. Remark. If you get help from somebody or somewhere online, uh, books, make sure you mention it. This is because um, it's a academic commons when you refer to something already know or something not done by you. So it's a, uh, it's not a only a polite way to do it. It's the the right way to do that. Okay. Don't give people some uh, wrong feeling that you did something which you actually didn't do that. Okay. Uh, next, let's talk about uh, the final exam. Uh, for the final part, it's relatively easy. Exam. I will post Final exam at the end of the semester. We have you have you have um, one week. to complete it. Okay, so here I, when I mean when I say one week to complete, that mean you really need one week to finish the exam. So you are supposed to use four hours to complete it. But if you want more time it's okay. Yeah, so, so uh, you are supposed to do it within four hours. That's all I have to say. And then uh, if you can type in LaTeX, that's good. 
is uh, prefer but handwriting if you do handwriting make sure somebody else can read that and uh, scan it so send to my email address So I will um, state explicitly what time to start, what time to end, and make announcement when the day come closer. Okay, so this is the final. And the reading project, reading report. So everyone is required to do some advanced reading uh, the material uh, should be have something to do with complex analysis with complex analysis. Uh, you should decide the topic you want to work on. with me by the end of October. Uh, so I highly suggest you to find some topic you are really interested in to work on because that's the purpose. I want you to apply it and to find it useful in some real way. Uh, let's mention what we did last time. Was it was so last semester? Not last semester, last year, actually. What we did. So we have student doing percussion groups. So that's a discrete subgroup of S P S L to R. Gamma, PSL to R, and uh, secondly we have uh, people doing special relativity and uh, mm, that's related to the Poincaré groups. And third, we have people doing functional analysis. For example, Hilbert space, Banach space, so LP space, L2 space, W2P, W22. Etc. And uh, we also have people. Uh, that's not I highly suggest. It. Some people submit his own paper. <laughs> to me. But already it's already on archive. So. It's okay, but not so uh, encouraged because in principle, you should not submit your paper to two different places. Okay, and so this is questionable, but it's okay.
for this course. And also, uh, we have some students do PDE, do harmonic functions. So at the very beginning, there are some people interested in uh, differential geometry, Chen classes, but then uh, he dropped the class. It should be a nice topic to work on. Also, uh, but we don't have student uh, do uh, number theory, so it's highly uh, recommend if you are interested in number theory, read some uh, number theory. paper or material. Actually in this uh, textbook we will we have some nice uh, chapter, nice sections to work on. We cannot finish all of them but at least we will start some part. So I just give you some idea what you can work on but of course you are not uh, restricted to all these topics, you can find something you are really interested in. At least you use square root of negative 1. Okay, okay, uh, then let's talk about Piazza. So due to the online uh, lecture style, I want to encourage you to talk with your classmates, uh, collaborate on on some problems, so uh, I make the rule like following. So answer, uh, ask, and uh, answer questions, mathematical questions. Questions. Uh, on Piazza, and uh, I will uh, I'll make sure if you answer or uh, ask questions, uh, don't you don't use anonymous modes. So show your name. If you want to ask something about the policy or want to complain, of course you can be in anonymous mode. Uh, I will assign grades uh, depending on your performance. But don't be too nervous. I designed this part not to give you some pressure. Just want you to really participate in this course with your classmates. From my experience, I learn much, much more from my classmates, either senior classmates or junior classmates, or some people in different departments other than my teachers. Actually, the teachers only just read the textbook and they show you something around, and all their job can be done probably in one week or two. But then the details, I usually go through either by myself or go through with my friends. So it's really a nice habit to be able to negotiate with people, work on problems together and share ideas, share taste, share happiness, share sadness. Of course, I, I'm always here. You're always welcome to share it with me. But we have, we have many more other people, so you should use these resources. You are all very good students, so that's a very important resource for you. Okay, and uh, uh, let me see, what, what should I see? Oh, I haven't seen 
what is your textbook? So the textbook is Stein. Uh, it's Stein's te uh, complex analysis. Um, but I will follow uh, Sue's approach. Uh, he has some notes online, but now probably uh, it's withdrawn. And uh, mm, it's basically just a reinterpretation of Stein's book. Stein's book is too much. We cannot finish it in one semester. And uh, some part, you may have some different uh, interpretation. So I will go from my poem you or Sue's point of view. So uh, that's a basic thing. Also, uh, let me introduce uh, something about myself. Okay, oh, that's office hours. Uh, I used to um, plan just hold office hour on the regular um, class time, but then for people in mainland China, you are in midnight, so it's not so convenient. So I uh, change it to the following. So make appointment with me. With me. Okay, and when you make appointment, please uh, tell me what do you want to discuss so that I can make some preparation, which will make the uh, meeting more efficient for you. And we can use Zoom or uh, Tencent, Tencent uh, meeting whatever you want. Okay. Also, uh, let me see. Okay, now I can introduce something about myself. Uh, so this course highly depend on the instructor's own background and flavors. So from complex analysis, There's some traditional approach, so which uh, is through analysis. You can read from some uh, Russian textbook, which is highly related to the uh, analysis part. So, also, there's some other approach from geometry. Algebra and physics. So, because uh, I'm doing com complex geometry and uh, want to learn some physics, so my approach will be on this one. Oh, of course, there are some, oh, I should say, for the analysis part. It's related to the analytical number theory. Those will be very hardcore, so you need to study the analytical part of the complex analysis. Um, but from my point of view, it's good to lay the whole background, know at least what the whole topic is. Um, since I'm sure most of you <laughs> will not do a mathematical analysis part or number theorem later in your career. Some are from CS, some are from physics, some are from, some will do differential geometry, and some will go to industry, some will be teacher in high school or whatever. So I want to give you some broader view of this topic this is a really interesting topic and very fundamental to
to the modern、uh, mathematics, but less、uh, technical. At some point, we will involve some technical part、uh, that's unavoidable, which I want to show you. Which the aim is to show you some part of this hardcore. But most of the course will be、uh, related. Will have、uh, some geometric, algebraic, or physical flavor. Okay. Of course, you are highly recommended to read the textbook, even if we didn't cover it, to get some flavor. Okay. So, um. Also,、oh, homework. Sometimes I will suggest you some homework. So here is one. You don't. It's a special homework.、Uh, post. I will post a question on Piazza. Ask for who you are. What's your grade? What's your background? Why do you choose this class? And、uh, please answer it. To tell your classmates、uh, your background, so that you can have some、uh, collaboration. Okay, I I just want you after this course. I I want to just make you find some people who you really can work on with. Who you are? Name. Interest. Hobby, whatever, and、uh, why do you choose this course? And、uh, what do you expect? On this course, and、uh, what is your plan?、Uh, next step in the next step. But don't feel any pressure to answer these questions, and、uh, I just want to you have some.、Uh, Place to introduce yourself. Last year, because it's in person class, so I just ask everybody, and、uh, so everybody introduce themselves, and they can、uh, make friends with each other. Yeah, but this time seems like、uh, this is a an altered way. Also,、uh, the most important thing I forgot to say is. How we hold this class? I will post videos on YouTube.、Uh, I don't know、uh, if I should post on Billy Billy. If you can, you can't use YouTube. Please tell me. Then we'll. Post on Bilibili. Otherwise, I will just post on YouTube because it's easier to post it on YouTube. Actually, on YouTube, and、uh, so every week, every week we have two to three videos, and、uh, up to. Uh, one hundred fifteen minutes. And、uh, you need to watch those videos and then、uh, find your find the corresponding homework problems to finish. And uh, uh, so for every video, I will. Make announcement.
on a canvas. So make announcement means I will share the link. Okay, now let's uh, start some uh, basic in introduction of the complex analysis. Uh, so the complex analysis probably there are some that uh, various ways, uh, various starting points. But the basic ones is square root of negative one. People are interested in square root of negative one because of the interest of deriving. Deriving uh, the formula of solving uh, cubic equations. So we all know how to solve uh, the quadratic equations. So the root. You have some root formulas, and uh, actually for cubic equations, uh, you can simplify to this case. You can also find some formulas, and people find there are three roots. But the problem is, in your formula, um, avoidable, you will have square to some negative thing. Okay, or uh, some imaginary number, this is I, uh, it's called imaginary number. Although the finally, after you simplify everything, you have the real root, but in the intermediate step in the formula, you will have square root of negative one. So at that time, people already noted that this is unavoidable. Oh, just a small remark. So, uh, the Galois theory tells you. So you can find uh, the root formula for uh, quantic equations, but for for the equation degree polynomial equations with degree greater than phi, uh, not always. This is known for n equals 5. This is already known by Abel. But then Galois tells you uh, there are some criteria when this is solvable, when it's not. So this is a very uh, important uh, theorem, Galois theorem. We will not talk about uh, this in this class. If you are interested, in, please take uh, abstract algebra 2. This tells you the whole solvability of polynomial equations is governed by some group. Okay, and uh, also some other source from this comes from uh, the, the physics. For example, you can describe the uh, electricity a magnetic field, electronic field, by exponential i phi, this thing. So by a complex number, you largely simplify it. And actually, the quantum mechanics is highly dependent on the extension of our field. For example, uh, in quantum mechanics, you will have wave functions. And the probability of find a point, find a particle at some point, is given by the norm square of the wave function. Okay, so if you have two wave functions, just like you have two particles starting from this point, and then you propagate, there's a screen. So what's the probability of find? 
the particle at this point more or less it's related to the norm square of the summation and of course this is different from in most of the time different from this one It's uh, uh, because you will have different phase, you will have cancellation. We will come to this point when we study the harmonic analysis part of the complex uh, function. So there's a large part of called of mathematics called harmonic analysis. So this is uh, based on special properties exponential i phi and the harmonic analysis of Fourier analysis so the Fourier analysis is another very important source for the compound analysis course. So Fourier, when, when he studied the uh, heat transportation and uh, some related problems, he noted that you can always expand your function as uh, if it's a, a periodic, so you can always expand a n cosine n x plus B N sine N X. Okay, so that's the initial point. If we, it's not periodic, then you can uh, decompose into uh, infinite uh, into the following form. So you have another function f and uh, exponential i p x d p you see so the difference from this one is uh, first one is summation second one is integration but when you take the uh, each small interval smaller and smaller then you can take a limit the summation just becomes uh, integration So this is, uh, this is actually called the inverse Fourier transformation. We will study this later in our course. Also, there are some other interest in this topic because of the hyperbolic geometry. So hyperbolic geometry uh, is also called uh, non-Euclidean geometry, which is uh, invented by Bole, uh, Lobachevsky, and uh, uh, Gauss. So basically, later on we will introduce the complex plane. So x, y, so complex plane. So unit disk. Uh, we will give a rigorous definition later. So this is a unit disk, and you equip the disk with uh, some metric, Poincare metric. And then for each from each point, uh, okay. So, so you first draw a line, and uh, from each point, you can draw infinite many geodesic. which passing through this point, but has 
uh, no intersection with the other, the other line. This is L. Okay, I use different color. This exhibits different feature of uh, with the uh, uh, Euclidean geometry because you know from Euclidean geometry passing through each point outside the line you can only have one you have one and uh, only one uh, line without intersection. So passing through this point, you can only have one line which has no intersection. Sorry. With a given given line. And uh, then we will have some interesting automorphism groups. So P, S, L, 2, R of the unit disk. OK. Then study of the disk. This is related to Klein's uh, principle geometry. The study of geometry is the same as study of the uh, transformation group. Of this object. So, this is a fundamental idea in mathematics. People realize that. Uh, the group plays an important role in mathematics. Actually, this uh, plays a fundamental role in mathematics, just like Galois theorem. The solvability of the polynomial equations is related to the Galois group. And in physics, the special relativity is related to the Pankara groups. Oh, where is it? I can find it. Oh, it's okay. And uh, for the uh, high energy uh, theorem in physics, uh, the particle theorem, so all the forces are supposed to be unified by uh, some gauge symmetry. So that's a Yang Mill theorem. Probably, uh, so in this course, I want to give you some feeling by examples. Groups are important and plays a fundamental role in mathematics. Okay, so at the end, I want to mention some uh, important feature sorry, important figures in the development of complex analysis. So Eula. So uh, we will study this formula. Probably some of you already know this later. Exponential i x is cosine x plus i sine x. This is uh, an important role the important observation which transformed the Fourier analysis from the Fourier version to the modern version. From this to this, it's much simpler because exponential ix is simple than cosine and the sine, right? Here you have real part, complex part, real part, imaginary part, real part, imaginary part. But here you only have function. And then uh, uh, we have Cauchy. Uh, if you know mathematical analysis, you already have Cauchy criteria. We will use that uh, later in our study when we prove something 
rigorously. We want to use Cauchy criteria again and again, and so that we will require it uh, next time. And also Riemann. They actually define Cauchy Riemann operate, which gives you a criterion for some spe uh, for the important objects studied in this course, harmonic holomorphic functions, and also West Truss. He introduced uh, another viewpoint, so they introduced a geometric way, a PDE way. So West Truss gives you a uh, view by analysis, so series. And then, of course, you have Gauss Poisson. So you have Poisson kernel, which is just uh, uh, the real version of the Cauchy integral formula. Poincare. So the study the disk and the Kobe give a rigorous proof of the Riemann a mapping theorem and also Hilbert. Okay, so more recently uh, there are some figures. Alpha. So actually I should say Stain he did he he did the analytic part, he did the harmonic analysis part of the complex analysis. And Arthur's he generalized Riemann, so geometric point of view, uh, in a fundamental way. So he is he has some geometric flavor. He has a, another uh, textbook, which is my textbook when I was an undergraduate student on complex analysis. I should say it's a little bit out of fashion nowadays, but then has some very interesting part. For example, he spent uh, one chapter on talking about uh, conformal mapping, which gives you a uh, vivid way how to transform some region to another region. We will study it later, but I think it's a good source to study some specific examples of conformal geometry. And oh, I, I forgot to say Schwartz. Schwartz here. And then more recently, there are Kodaira. So later on, a compound analysis combined with algebra geometry to give you a new viewpoint of the geometry and the Korea era is a fundamental uh, master in complex geometry and then we have Xu okay of course there are some many many important people I didn't mention because of my own knowledge <laughs> Okay, so this is the first lecture. Uh, next lecture, we will start with uh, definition of complex numbers.